If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's protection family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and Saint Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, February 17, 2023, Friday of the sixth week in ordinary time. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. Chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. The whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. While the people were migrating in the east, they came upon a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us mold bricks and harden them with fire. They used bricks for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky and so make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we shall be scattered all over the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that they had built. Then the Lord said, If now, while they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us then go down and there confuse their language, so that one will not understand what another says. Thus the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he scattered them all over the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm Your response Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord brings to naught the plans of nations. He foils the designs of peoples. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Your response, blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed are the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Your response, blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth, he who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Your response, blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. I call you my friends, says the Lord. For I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, verses 34 to chapter 9, verse 1. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself his cross 
and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What could one give in exchange for his life? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this faithless and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. He also said to them, Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come in power. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. We are nearing Lent, my dear friends. So we are reminded of this simple yet profound saying. No wealth nor possessions can buy heaven, cure a broken heart, or cheer a lonely person. But the only way to triumph and deliverance from sin and death is through the cross of Christ. My friends, the reading from the Gospel for today serves as a reminder to every one of us that accepting the invitation to follow Jesus is a serious and expensive decision. It's possible to offer God our money, but not ourselves, or our lip service, but not our hearts. It is true that individuals who dedicate their lives to Jesus are submitting to a life of self-denial, sacrifice and suffering. But it is also a life that leads to joy, serenity and hope. As those who have been united to Christ, we must work to love him above all else and be prepared to endure any hardships that may result from our dedication to him. But we may persevere with hope because we know that those who are his will experience happiness and eternal life. My friends, the Gospel reading from today's Mass challenges us to consider what is the daily cross that Jesus Christ requires us to bear. Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, I want to be a disciple of you. I am happy to give you everything I have got. Only in you can I find true joy and pleasure. I discover true affection in you, Lord. Lord, it is because of your inspiration and your gentle care that I am able to preach your word today. Lord, accept my life and make it a pleasing sacrifice in praise of you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, let us meet in the next video with another new healing and life-giving message. Until then, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. Dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you for watching. 
God bless you.